Professor Janet Balcom joins us now to tell us about her newly published book, The Wild Side. The earlier edition of this work was a finalist in the Ashton Wiley Charitable Trust Book Awards, and it is an extraordinary real-life New Zealand story of mm. meth addiction, betrayal, grief, and ultimately redemption. It is absolutely fascinating. Welcome, Janet. Hi, thanks, Mel. It sounds like a made-up story. Like, I just started yeah. having a flick through here, it doesn't sound real, but That's it obviously right. was your life. You couldn't make up some of the stories if you tried. <laughs> yeah, I mean, some extraordinary things happened. <laughs> That's right. So take us right back to the start, Janet. How did all this start? Well, you know, no one sets out to, to become a meth addict and have the wheels completely fall off. And um, I was a good girl in a little country town and um, it was just, you know, addiction starts and finishes with pain. And so it was basically, uh, that's where the betrayal bit came in right. when I was a teenager. Mm. And, uh, a, you know, a friend, it just went, something really devastating happened and uh, messed with my identity and everything that I believed in. Does it come back to the part where some girls at school actually put a little note page in your bag and they started talking about, they'd all written about you mm. and, and really nasty, horrible things about you? Does it go back to that? That would have been what triggered the devastation in my heart and the crossroads that I pulled up at. To um, that, that caused me to mm. take a different path, I think, because of the defence mechanisms that kicked into place to um, Being a survive. teenager is hard for anybody, but when you're being bullied like that, it's particularly yeah. hard. I think it, it's most devastating when it's somebody very, very close to you. It doesn't matter what Joe Bloggs does or says. But when it's, it's a really close friend then, um, and I was obviously a really sensitive sort of person, mm. so it really did the damage to me. And a lot of people, you know, your parents always say to you, watch the crowd you hang out with, and it's interesting listening to what you were saying. So it wasn't necessarily the people you were hanging out with that led to your meth addiction, it was the circumstances that led you to try meth. Would that be a fair assessment? Yeah, I think uh, there are forces at play in our lives that we're not fully aware of and it was, it came down to a big rejection, you know, a cycle of rejection that, that was to, to play out, mm. that was just the first one and, and the most devastating one. But having said that, there's a lot of people who have, you know, terrible teenage years, but then you went on to this meth addiction, but also counterfeiting, I oh. mean kidnapping, <laughs> I mean the story is just extraordinary, I mean how did it all spiral to there? Well, it's just um, a sequence of unfortunate events. <laughs> it's just a misunderstanding. Oh, that makes more sense. <laughs> yeah. No, I was charged with all of those things. There was 14 charges in the end. At the end of the day, only one charge stuck, and that was the kidnapping. Mm. Um, but I was really guilty by association, and so what the cops do is they charge the girlfriend with all of the things that the guy's been charged with to make him fess up and go, oh no, it was me, I'm guilty of everything, take, take the rap off her. And it does work, and so that's sort of why it just looks so dramatic, but um, I mean, the counterfeiting wasn't even my ex, that was somebody else again, but it was under mm. our roof, and mm. it wasn't a real huge operation, it was just a, a few tests that, that looked quite good. And you, you <laughs> but not when the cops stand up. You managed to come out the other side, which is great. How did you know you weren't, you weren't in a good place? Was there a sign? Did something happen where you went, I've got to get out of this situation, how do I do it? Uh, no, you know, I, I, I suppose ten years into it, there was one point when I was in the tattoo studio and I was really at a low ebb. It wasn't the bottom because it took me another 18 years to hit the actual bottom. But there was a moment of clarity that I had where I went, oh my goodness, look at what I've become. I was sitting on the floor with rat's tails, absolutely a, like skin and bone and paranoid, bordering on psychotic. And I actually yeah. saw myself and I went, Wow, I've lost my home, my, my flat, my job, my car, and uh, I was a shell I of a person. Mm -hmm. And I thought, I want to change, but, but there was just such a long journey ahead of me. So you've been clean now for 24 years or so. Uh, you wrote the book in 2014, but you've re-released it with some additional stories. What made you want to re-republish? It's just been a, a, a real baby of mine, and I, I think it, I just had to keep keep working on it until it was at the level where it needed to be, where I was happy with it. 
and um, now I'm really happy with it. It's got a new name, it's got a new cover, it's got a new story in the beginning, which is that foundational story we talked about, which mm -hmm. wasn't in the previous uh, right. version, and it's got a photo gallery at the back. And something I, I love that you do with this book is you give it to prisons, is that correct? Yes, we do, and it... Um, it's just so well received in there. It's, there's a captive audience. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, yeah. No, and you want to help, though, which is great, you know, and people can read this book, they can learn from your experience. <laughs> and they can shake their heads and go, did that really happen? Because it's like a movie. Yeah. It is like a movie. It is so bizarre. Um, some of the... I mean, who would think that your parents would turn up at one of your police busts? Wow. Or that you would be brushing your teeth in, in the bathroom and you'd suddenly see two cops appear on your elbow and arrest you for kidnapping. Um, oh, look, you've told, you've told me enough. Don't spoil it anymore. <laughs> Go and get this book. Janet Balcom, thank you so much. The, the book, The Wild Side, is available both at bookstores and online. And thanks for joining us today, sharing your story. Yeah, Really thank appreciate you. it.